Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. So today we are over here on Tez's account. So thank you very much Tez for making this video possible. And we are making Dynamax Resonance White Curum. So a lot of people thinking if this Pokemon is worth it or not. So today we will make it Dynamax and we will give it a try. And I'll explain to you guys what is Dynamax about. So, without further ado, we still need to get the, Di the Dynamax stamps, so let's go over here to the Happy Exchange. So over here on the Happy Exchange, we do have something uh, which is, we can exchange for Groundon books and we can exchange for Fire books. What happens is, according to when you guys are recharging and you can choose over here on the, um, the recharge gift, you, for example, you can choose between option option A or option B and technically with the Grounded books you guys can get much more exchanges not like much more but you can get more exchanges if you guys claim the Grounded books than getting the fire books so when we go over here to the happy exchange first of all we want to spend the Grounded books so in our situation we need 87 exchanges which is something really crazy if you think about it it's like it's a lot of books it's a lot of resources that's why i usually say that dynamax pokemon well you can get dynamax yes but uh you need to be you need to be uh have a big uh, a big wallet you know you need to be able to afford multiple things not just dynamax So let's just give a quick look on how many stamps we got and technically we still need one more exchange because it's 865. So let's go over here to the Dynamax, grab one more exchange of Dynamax stamps and here we go. We already have enough stamps to make this big boy Dynamax. Just a quick thing that I want to mention, the owner of this account was okay with me doing the Dynamax right now. Because technically, if you guys want to spend the least possible, uh, you have to put your secret technique at level 30 and your dream ability at level 10. This will reduce the price or the cost of the stamps that you need to use. You will need a total of 810 Dynamax stamps to make a Dynamax. So, without further ado, let's go and click on this button and let, let's see what, what should be, we be expecting about. Okay, okay, good stuff. I was expecting something more epic, but that, that, that works. So now let's check out how our like very brand new Dynamax. So sadly, he's kind of small right now when we are watching him over here. But when you click on him, he's kind of big. Uh, so since he's uh, kind of big, what is different about the Dynamax? So first of all, we have the personality. He went from timid to very timid. So now he got his uh, stat upgrade. Also, before I started the video, I had like a screenshot of his previous power. So first of all, let's go and screenshot now and put the power over here. Now we can see the difference in, in stats and the difference in power. If you guys just want to take a look at it, feel free. Now, there's another thing that opened, which is the Dynamax level. Dynamax level is a Dynamax shield that we have. What does the Dynamax shield? Basically Dynamax shield, it gives you like an extra effect of reducing the enemy skill damage. So this is good in a, honestly and mostly in a top tier situation when like players just like that damage reduction at the first rounds and once the shield breaks, you get like a, a HP in return. I will show this a little bit later in battle, but for now let's unlock this. For unlocking we need Dynamax candy. Uh, right now, I don't even know if I, we do have Dynamax Candy, so I'm gonna check out. 
Now, those Dynamax candy are usually obtainable in the hard version of the legendary journey. So, over here, if you just raid, for example, let me see uh, something useful that he have not raided. Uh, for example, this one, I choose you. If we raid this, I'm gonna spend 100 diamonds, but he is okay with it. Uh, we get like this thing, which is like EXP candy. And then we get those chests, which give us like the candy that we need for those Dynamax. So for example, let's check out and check the, the Dynamax level over here on the unlock. It says that I need five of those Dynamax candy over here. And I also need uh, 21 of the, of the strawberry. So technically, I can just come over here to these basic chests that I have. I'm gonna open like, uh, I don't know, uh, something like 10, 15, let's say. So I needed five. So I'm going to select two over here because this is going to give me six and I needed 21 of the other ones. So this is going to give me much more than 21. But for now, since I don't want to go back and select everything exactly, this uh, should be okay. So I click on confirm and this is going to give me not six and 39. So now when I go back to the Pokemon, Dynamax level and Pog, let's go. We can unlock finally the Dynamax shield. We also get stats, like as, uh, as long as we keep upgrading our shields, we also get stats. And over here, as you can see, we now can upgrade our Dynamax shield. And we just do one tap to upgrade and it keeps upgrading. So let's go upgrading the Dynamax shield, keep going. Keep it going. Each upgrade, it's increasing the stats. As you can see over here, the HP percentage and the HP are like base stat. Remembering that the base stats also scale with your base power. So the higher base power you have, the, the more these base stats will be affected. And now that we finally reach level nine, we need more of these candy now. We need, what we need now? Dynamax candy and we also need very sweet which was also over there so like you guys can see like this dynamax shield it has to be just upgraded and now wh what it says is like when the dynamax shield exists increases the skill damage by five percent and reverses ten percent of the damage taken and recovers on ten percent hp after it breaks let's upgrade that let's get the berries upgrade that and see if that changes Okay, so now this should be the exactly the berry that we need over there. Let's go back to our Pokemon, going to the Dynamax level, and now we just break through. So we break through, and what happens is that we got the Dynamax Shield level 2 now. Uh, so when the Dynamax Shield so increases the skill power, it was from ti uh, 5 to 10%, and it's 20% of damage reduction now, and also recovering 25% HP after it breaks. Let's see if we do have enough to max out this shield. So now to break this next shield, I need this new item called Star Sweet, and I actually need 90 of them, and they only appear in the medium chests. So I'm going to get 90 of those over here in the medium chest. And I also still need the the other item, 90 of each f as well. So hold on, let me just uh, come over here. I still need the Dynamax candy and I need around what? This is th around 30 exchanges since I do need nine of each. Let's just get that over here. And okay, so we are going to exchange over here and we have 90 of the Dynamax candy. So we go over here, breakthrough, let's go, and we can just continue our level. Dynamax Shield level 3. So now we have 16% extra skill damage and reversing three times, so 35% damage reduction uh, up to three times that you are attacked and also receiving 45% HP after it breaks. Let's continue over here trying to maximize this shield. So, sadly, it was not enough this time. Like, we reached level 27, so it's really close to level 30, and we would get the final thing that we get from the Dynamax Shield. So, let's get this bad boy on action, and, like, just rem reminding you guys about the Dynamax. Let's go over here to the Dynamax Pokedex. So, now we do have the white over here. So basically we do got, get the extra stats, we do get 
the also the extra the extra skills we get the dynamic skill that we should be using in battle and we also get extra stats and stuff so let's go and try this pokemon in battle just show you guys once again how big this Pokemon can get once it gets Dynamax. Even though right now it's bugged in cell mode, but like compared to, for example, the Black Urim over here. As you guys can see, like there's a big, big difference. Also, if you guys want to take a look at the stats, here are the stats difference of like before everything and after Dynamax and some shields level up. Of course, in a bigger power, that like Dynamax is a Pokemon that scales with level as well. So like in a bigger power, this would be like a much bigger difference in stats and power. Just another thing that I want to show you guys is that the Dynamax skill that is mentioned in the descriptions is one that you can activate in battle after a couple of turns and as you can see it can even hit Shadow Assault Pokemons, Pokemons that are diving etc. So even like black and white now against those Palkias with an extra skill over there that just hits the Palkia, boy that, that just make it much better. And also, for example, in this situation, this is a Hoopa that is very high in power and special attack. And this Hoopa should be able to take white with an ultimate. But in this situation, because of the Dynamax shield, because of the damage reduction, Hoopa was not able to do enough damage to take out white. I even spoke with Tez, which is the owner of the account after this. He has been playing a, a little bit after I made it Dynamax. And honestly, he just says that like he has no idea. He could not believe that the Pokemon now would be so tanky just with Dynamax. The rest of the video will be just some random battles that I have recorded. So I'll say goodbye to you guys now. Don't forget, I do have the links for Discord, Facebook, etc. Everything is on the description. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.
Press.